I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It's just really killing me. I just can't get it at all. And then I just can't get part. I've been working on just that for two hours. And I just can't get it. Ugh. Can I learn how to play the banjo within 24 hours? I don't know, maybe. Let's find out. Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris Hip and six string finger picking, or maybe I should say five string finger picking today because in my hands I am holding a Deering Good Time 2 banjo that I've just purchased. It is brand new, I've never played it, I haven't even tuned it yet. So I'm gonna see if I can learn how to play the banjo within 24 hours. Now I've been playing the guitar for many years, but I've never played the banjo. I know absolutely nothing about the banjo, but I thought I'm gonna give it a go because I love the sound of it and just to see if, if I can do it. So my challenge is to learn chords, scales, arpeggios, and to learn a song and perform that song to you uh, by the end of the 24 hours. So stick around to the end to see if I can do all of that. But anyway, not much left to say, but a heck of a lot of practice to get on with. So I guess a good place to start would be to get the banjo nicely in tune. Um, but I don't even know the tuning of it, so I could have to look that up online. Banjo tuning. G, D, G, B, E, G, B, D. Let's get this baby in tune. That's not right. <laughs> Look, I was tuning this one. Maybe I'm tuning this one. But is this one I've got to be tuning? Oh God. G, D, G, B, D. I'll take that off. Almost there. That is just so weird, having this string here is just so weird. But here we go. So that's a G chord. This must be an A chord. I'm going to work just on the right hand and try to get the finger placement right, and learn where the strings are and how they feel. Let's just start playing around. I just uh, completely forget about the left hand and start doing some random rolls. This is all a G, G chord, so it's all going to work. Uh... This string is wrong <laughs> to guitar players. It's the highest string, it should be the lowest string as far as guitar players are concerned. So that's gonna be really hard and I don't know when to use it exactly. It feels really weird to hold as well compared to a guitar. Just keep doing the same thing. I think I should probably get a YouTube lesson up or something just to give me a bit of direction. Here's some basic rules. The first one that everybody almost, almost always winds up hearing about is the forward roll. Five, four, three, two, one. Which is a little confusing because I'm quite sure imagine the fifth string is the highest string. G. 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 Something. G. 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 G, B, D. So I'm playing G, G, D. God. Okay. Sounds pretty good. By the way, if any of you are banjo players and you have some tips for me, please leave a comment and just, just say, Chris, you do this, here's a tip, check out this player. You know, it's a good source of education because I'm going to continue to play the banjo. Anyway, you probably don't want to watch me doing this for hours on end, so I'm going to keep working on this, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So I've been playing around with these banjo rolls for about 45 minutes now, and to be honest, they feel pretty good. But then that's not that surprising because I play fingerstyle guitar and the technique is kind of there. Um, it's just getting used to the, to the strings, the distances uh, between the strings, gaps between the strings, and um, this weird note, this high G note on the bottom. Um, but I've been doing this one a lot. It's 
quite nice. And then a few others. And as I say, they feel pretty good, so I feel confident just to keep working on that. But now, moving on to kind of step two, I'm going to start thinking about looking at the fretboard more. It's in open G, and then I, you know, I rarely play an open G tuning on the guitar. So I'm going to start learning the notes, and I'm going to start figuring out some chords, and then we can put the banjo rolls on top of the chords, and it's going to start to sound a bit more musical. Fingers crossed. So that's G chord, that's straightforward. That, that's going to be an A chord. Let's try and work out a C chord. So that's a G, leave that. That's a B, so that's fine. Obviously that's the root note there, so we've got the five and the one. And then this string is G, so that's going to stay. This string is D, so that. With that, this 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 string is this string's me. God, I hate this string. So there you go. That and that's a G. So that's a C chord. So that's a C. That must be C minor because that's the three. That sounds good. B, let's see if I can figure out D, G, so that's A, G, A, and then this string's B, B, C, D, that's a G, so F sharp's miles away. Where's F sharp? Uh, F sharp? That's a D. Let's get it, make some music. I'm going to tell you, I am having a lot of fun. Honestly, this is so much fun. Uh, I've been, but one thing I keep on doing is getting the strings wrong, and that's le leading me to make mistakes. Uh, I keep on thinking that the high, this is the high E string, like on the guitar, but it's not. It's the D string, I th I'm pretty sure. So I keep on playing my C's wrong and some of the chords wrong. So I was playing C sus too, which sounds very nice. I meant to play, give me to play C like that. Then it's A minor. So then push that up, two frets. B minor. And I've worked out E minor, F minor, and so G minor. Oh, I'm getting it. Just G and E minor. B minor. Slow down, too excited. Down to A minor. How about a bit of D, two, five, one. Back to G. So of course I'm gonna keep on practicing these chords because they're so much fun and there's so many other chord types to play around with. But I'm also gonna start looking at some scales, start thinking about a song that I want to learn, and uh, I'm just gonna get some more practice done because it's all about practice. Good morning, day two. Let's get back to work. So this morning I'm gonna be working on some scales, figuring out some scales and arpeggios, and then combining those with the chords and see if I can come up with some music. 
And then uh, after that, I've got to get cracking with this song because it's not going to learn itself. And I really, really, really want to perform this song for you because uh, I think if I could pull it off uh, in the tiny amount of time that I have to do it, I think it's going to be so much fun. Scales. The banjo is in G. It's tuned to G, so the G major scale seems like a good place to start. So let's see if I can work that out. That's a G. D. E. F sharp, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, D, Just randomly you just start playing around with that, mix it up with the chords and ho hopefully I can get something that sounds good. some real practice time now on this I'm going to work through some different keys and I'm going to try out some different scales as well Look what's just turned up. Oop. Finger picks. Finger picks. So let's have a look, see what we've got. Fun pick. That's fine. That fits really well. That's fine. I'm used to a fun pick. That's fine. It's these two finger picks that go on the end here. Do you see banjo players wearing? Like that. That is what. I'm going to have to get used to it. It's so much louder, but boy that feels strange. I'm going to have to practice all my rolls again. And you get that tapping sound, metal on metal I guess. That feels really weird really weird but I think you, you know it's like anything if I just give it a good you know if I spend a day or two playing with these on then the technique you know, well you just get used to them and you, the accuracy it will obviously grow but I haven't got time I can't if I want to play my song or if I want to perform the song there's no way that I'm going to be able to do them with these on because the accuracy isn't going to be there at all so I'm going to have to do it without the picks. I've got to take a break, really hungry, so I've got to go and make some lunch. And then I have to get cracking with the song because uh, time is not on my side. And yeah, I've got to get on with that. I'm English, so of course I'm having crumpets for lunch. So good. This is so hard, I'm working on the song and it's so different to the guitar, the technique, I am struggling with it so much, I can't remember anything that I'm playing and I can't get the, the rolls right at all. really struggling with this, I just cannot get it. I've been working at it for a while now and it's just going nowhere. This is so hard.
I, I honestly don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I just, I'm just not getting it at all. I just keep on forgetting it every time. And then I just can't get part. I've been working on just that for two hours. And I just can't get it. Ugh. Maybe I'll take a break. I'm still no nowhere near. So 24 hours is up and it's time for me to play you a song. It's nowhere nearly as good as I hoped it would be. It's going to be full of mistakes, but hey, I haven't been playing the banjo for all that long. So here is my humble attempt at dueling banjos. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had an awful lot of fun putting it together. If you did enjoy it, please consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up. If you have any banjo suggestions, anything at all, please leave it in the comments. I just, I have a lot to learn. But that's it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Cheers, bye bye.